Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another Let's Play short, maybe even a full Let's Play, I do not currently know. But today I'm playing Coin Crypt. Coin Crypt is a roguelike game with some very interesting mechanics, and when I say very interesting mechanics, I mean that your currency and your health and your attacks are the same thing. Your health isn't exactly the same thing, you have 10 health. Actually, um, I meant to play as a different character here because I've unlocked one. But you have several characters that you unlock over time, and this is a game where you're kind of expected to die a lot. So here I found a chest right away, and um, you can take the chest. You can take any item from the chest. It's good to stock up on attack items. So um, one small complaint I have about the game so far, I played a bit just in order to get the feel for it, is the controls are very strange. It is mostly um, R2 and L2 or whatever the equivalent is on the Xbox, R1 and L1 for flee and do other things, and then the Xbox main buttons. So as you can see here, I have the option between three coins. This is a time-based game, so she's going to attack me as I explain this. So I hit with B, I use the attack coin. The attack coin has a speed of two, and then it has to charge through that time, and then you attack. So it is more of a classic RPG than a roguelike-ish, such as Isaac. Meaning, um, I'm gonna pick up that key. Keys are very valuable. And they're they're very valuable, and they're very valuable. So they're both types of valuable. Um, but <laughs> anyways, it's more of a classic RPG than something like Isaac. The stats do actually matter, and you do have different spells and RPG elements. So let's pick up a couple of shield tokens there. There are tons of tokens, and I accidentally just went to level 2 of the forest without very well finishing level 1. So it's very likely that I'm going to die a thousand deaths here. And I dropped my key coin! What a dick! So uh, you, can, um, you can lose in two ways. You can run out of coins and then you lose, or you can run out of health. As you can see, I currently have 10 health, but I'm running low on coins with only 14. And I have a new coin here. Heal by... Heal 2 to 6, so it's like... A random heal amount. I like that quite a bit. I've already pretty much lost it just because um, I need to redraw here. Redrawing takes time, so you don't want to do it if at all possible. And there we go. Got a couple attacks going on. It's... Oh, you made me drop one of my big goose coins that I just got. What an ass. And you can also coin out your opponents. As you can see, they have a box of coins there. But you don't really want to do that because you actually want to grab the loot from them. As you can see, I got a bit of loot there. I got hit 2 in slow enemy, and I also got boost speed. So speed boosts are pretty good. You can also find stores and buy items that will permanently improve you. Um, there are some new items here. Regenerate HP and run speed for each held. Draw... Draw of 10? Draws of 10? Um, I'm just going to pick up the vampirism here because hit 4, heal 2 is real good. And I can still choose 2 more, so at that point I might as well actually take like a regenerate HP and anything else that is incredibly valuable. It's only worth 10, that's worth 10. Let's bring in, let's get another regenerate HP because that brings my total amount of money up to 330. Like I said, my money and my attacks are the same thing. Let's hit 2 and slow the enemy here. Um, let's use some vampirism, even though I... It's kind of a waste, in all honesty. And what did I get there? Poison enemy, that is really nice. And expensive, too. And it regenerate HP. Nice. So I lost my key, unfortunately, because somebody was an asshole. But here is a shop. And as you can see, magic map, preview neighbor rooms, open bag to barter. There's also the messenger bag, draw more stacks, open bag to barter. That's actually pretty good. Um, Talisman, lengthen status effects, or the mask, get more loot from enemies. I'd actually really like to get this, but I might have to spend a lot of my stuff. So you actually get to choose what you want to barter with, and I need to give 220. If I remember that rabbit thing down here is actually pretty expensive, and I don't really want it. So I'll give that. This is not very expensive. This goose coin, though, not very expensive either. Not very expensive. Where's all my money at? I know I have a lot of money. Oh, I have another whole page of um of items here. You actually control this with your analog stick. When I say the controls are a bit awkward, just look at what I have to press. I have to like if I want to sell 
this thing up here, I have to hold X and then press R2, or right bumper. Maybe it's more instinctive for people who actually grew up with the Xbox, but for me, it isn't really. And I'm using a PlayStation controller, so... I need 75 more. Hmm. 205, 15 more. That's worth 25. I need to. I want to spend as little as possible here. Yeah, that that works for me. I don't really like the drop a coin mechanic, so I'm gonna buy from here. Left bumper to buy, and I got the mask, so that's extra loot. Now I'm running low on coins again, so I'm not entirely sure I should be continuing to um. So I'm hurting myself by four there, but I'm gaining a lot of loot. I'm hoping that. I can make up for things because I, I just hurt myself by four and it seems to have actually done more than four so I'm, I'm not too fond of what just happened there to say the least am I completely stuck in here do I absolutely need a key learn from my mistakes select a blessing um, I, I've never actually seen this before how about damage plus 15, healing minus 15. Cast speed plus 40, draw one less coin. I actually kind of like that. I'm going to take that. So right trigger. Much increases my casting speed and I have to go to the next area. This is probably where I'm going to die on this run. In all honesty, I can pick up some attack coins. <laughs> Poison enemy, because why not? Heal, yes. No, I had a heal. Well, so here's where you see what happens after the game. As you can see, I can pump money into a bunch of different character classes, and this time I have earned a total of 1,665, just based on how well I did. So let's just pump those all into this character. And I've unlocked the bard. Bigger hands, but damage and healing are weaker. Me, me, me. So then I can just keep pumping into the next class. And to choose your class, I think you just kind of talk to them over here, yeah. So let's go back. Double uses every coin, but drops one too. Oh. I actually want to check it out. Bigger hand, but damage and healing are weaker. And totally balanced. Might play as a witch next time, but this is going to be it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Especially comment, because, you know, any Let's Play short has the opportunity of turning into a full Let's Play. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.